William Caxton was an English merchant, diplomat, writer and printer. He is thought to be the first English person to work as a printer and the first to introduce a printing press into England, which he did in 1476. He was also the first English retailer of printed books. In 2002 he was named among the 100 Greatest Britons in a BBC poll. Biography, Early Life William Caxton's parentage is uncertain. His date of birth is unknown, but records place it in the region of 1415 a Euro 1424, based on the fact his apprenticeship fees were paid in 1438. Caxton would have been 14 at the date of apprenticeship, but masters often paid the fees late. In the preface to his first printed work, The Requiel of the Histories of Troy, he claims to have been born and educated in the Weald of Kent. Oral tradition in Hadlow claims that Caxton was born there. The same with Tenterden. One of the manors of Hadlow was Corston's, owned by the Caxton family. A house in Hadlow reputed to be the birthplace of William Caxton was dismantled in 1436, and incorporated into a larger house rebuilt in Forest Row, Sussex. Caxton was in London by 1438, when the registers of the Mercer's Company records his apprenticeship to Robert Large, a wealthy London mercer, or dealer in luxury goods, who served as master of the Mercer's Company, and Lord Mayor of London in 1439. After Large died in 1441, Caxton was left a small sum of money. As other apprentices were left larger sums, it would seem he was not a senior apprentice at this time. Printing and later life. He was making trips to Bruges by 1450 at the latest and had settled there by 1453, when he may have taken his liberty of the Mercer's Company. There he was successful in business and became governor of the Company of Merchant Adventurers of London. His trade brought him into contact with Burgundy and it was thus that he became a member of the household of Margaret, Duchess of Burgundy, the third wife of Charles the Bold and sister of two kings of England. Edward IV and Richard III. This led to more continental travel, including travel to Cologne, in the course of which he observed the new printing industry, and was significantly influenced by German printing. He wasted no time in setting up a printing press in Bruges, in collaboration with the Fleming, Colid Mansion, and the first book to be printed in English was produced in 1473, Requiel of the Histories of Troy, a translation by Caxton himself. His translation had become popular in the Burgundian court and requests for copies of it were the stimulus for him to set up a press. Bringing the knowledge back to England, he set up a press at Westminster in 1476 and the first book known to have been produced there was an edition of Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Another early title was Dicts or Scienges of the Philosophers, first printed on November 18, 1477, translated by Earl Rivers, the king's brother-in-law. Caxton's translation of The Golden Legend, published in 1483, and The Book of the Night in the Tower, published in 1484, contain perhaps the earliest verses of the Bible to be printed in English. He produced the first translation of Ovid's Metamorphoses in English. Caxton produced chivalric romances, the most important of which was Sir Thomas Mallory's La Morte d'Arthur, classical works and English and Roman histories. These books appealed to the English upper classes in the late 15th century. Caxton was supported by, but not dependent on, members of the nobility and gentry. Death and memorials, Caxton's precise date of death is uncertain, but estimates from the records of his burial in St. Margaret's, Westminster, tend to show that he died near March of the calendar year 1492. However, George D. Painter makes numerous references to the year 1491 in his book William Caxton, a biography as the year of Caxton's death, since according to the calendar used at the time, the year change hadn't happened yet. Painter writes, however, Caxton's own output reveals the approximate time of his death, for none of his books can be later than 1491, and even those which are assignable to that year are hardly enough for a full 12 months production. So a date of death towards autumn of 1491 could be deduced even without confirmation of documentary evidence. In November 1954 a memorial to Caxton was unveiled in Westminster Abbey by J. J. Astor, chairman of the press council. The white stone plaque is on the wall next to the door to Poets' Corner. The inscription reads, 
near this place William Caxton set up the first printing press in England. Caxton in the English language, Caxton printed four-fifths of his works in the English language. He translated a large number of works into English, performing much of the translation and editing work himself. Caxton is credited with printing as many as 108 books, 87 of which were different titles. Caxton also translated 26 of the titles himself. His major guiding principle in translating was an honest desire to provide the most linguistically exact replication of foreign language texts into English, but the horrid publishing schedule and his inadequate skill as a translator often led to wholesale transference of French words into English and numerous misunderstandings. The English language was changing rapidly in Caxton's time and the works he was given to print were in a variety of styles and dialects. Caxton was a technician rather than a writer and he often faced dilemmas concerning language standardization in the books he printed. His successor Wynkinder Word faced similar problems. Caxton is credited with standardizing the English language through printing. This facilitated the expansion of English vocabulary the regularization of inflection and syntax, and a widening gap between the spoken and the written word. However, Richard Pinson, who started printing in London in 1491 or 1492, and who favoured chancery standard, was a more accomplished stylist and consequently pushed the English language further towards standardization. It is asserted that the spelling of ghost with the silent letter H was adopted by Caxton due to the influence of Flemish spelling habits. References. Further reading: N. F. Blake, Caxton, William, Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, Oxford University Press, 2004. Access July 1, 2006. N. F. Blake, Caxton, England's first publisher. N. F. Blake, Caxton and His World. Loads, David, ed. Reader's Guide to British History 1, 236-37. Historiography. The English Charlemagne Romances, Parts 3 and 4, The Life of the Noble and Christened Prince Charles the Great, translated from the French by William Caxton and printed by him 1485. The Introduction of Printing into England and the Early Work of the Press, the first book printed in English, from the Cambridge History of English and American Literature, Vol. 2, Duff, Gordon. The Introduction of Printing into England and the Early Work of the Press. The Cambridge History of English and American Literature. Vol. 2 ch. 13 a, Caxton's Views on the English Language. Caxton's Canterbury Tales, the British Library copies images and full transcripts of the whole of Caxton's two editions of Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. A fuller version of this is published on CD-ROM by Scholarly Digital Editions, Game and Play of the Chess A Verbatim reprint of the first edition, 1474, Linhard. John H. How Invention Begins, Echoes of Old Voices in the Rise of New Machines. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-530599 XPPA 165-168. Painter, George D. William Caxton A Euro Biography. Chateau and Windus. Caxton, William, The Game and Play of the Chess. Ed by Jenny Adams. External links, works by William Caxton at Project Gutenberg, images from Mirror of the World are from the State Library of Victoria, Caxton's Apprenticeship to Robert Large, a book of the chess moralized from the Rare Book and Special Collections Division at the Library of Congress, A. L. and Gratitude to Lee Setting Apart, We Owe to Cali to Our Mins the Manifold of Gifts of Grace. From the Rare Book and Special Collections Division at the Library of Congress, Cordial Quatuo Novus Amorum. From the Rare Book and Special Collections Division at the Library of Congress, here beginneth the Promi BPO and the Reducinge, both out of Latin as a French into our Ingli tongue of the Politi book named Tullius de Senecute. From the Rare Book and Special Collections Division at the Library of Congress, here beginneth the table of the rubrics of this present volume named the Mirror of the World or image of the same. From the collections at the Library of Congress, Livre des Pets d'Armée de Chevalerie from the Rare Book and Special Collections Division at the Library of Congress.